All right, hi and welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Tage and thank you for being here tonight. Happy new moon. I'm so thrilled to be sharing this meditation with you. And tonight we're going to use a blend of intention with mantra to create a really special experience for the beginning of this new moon phase. Hi, I'm Ray. I've been um, playing music at Tasia's yoga classes for about three years now. And it's been a wonderful chance for me to share some of these more intimate songs that I really thought I never would share with uh, anyone, but maybe one or two people. So I've um, been playing music for a long time. And a lot of these songs uh, come pretty spontaneously. And they're a blessing for me. I hope they're a blessing for you too. Yeah, thank you, Ray. This is a really special evening because with our new moon, we have a new moon in the Vedic sign of Gemini. This section of Gemini is symbolized by a deer. And so there's this energy of the deer moving into this next moon phase, which means that these qualities of the deer are going to be apparent over the next few weeks. Think about what a deer does as they're moving throughout their day. They're kind of leisurely in some ways, they're playful in others, they're kind of scared and suspicious, somewhat curious, but highly aware. And the thing with the deer is that they're usually moving, right? There's some sort of movement. Even when they pause to eat, there's still some sort of movement. Their ears are moving. And the idea around this is that this is a great time for you to start a journey, to begin a journey towards that which you desire. That's the power of this space of the zodiac called Mrigashira in uh, Vedic astrology. Now, Mrigashira, its power or Shakti is in the ability to achieve what it desires. So with this energy and with this whole new moon cycle, it's a time for you to start to step forward towards that which you desire. So it's in the section of Gemini. Now, Gemini is really, really mental. There's a lot going on. They have lots of ideas. They're playful and they love to learn a little about a lot. So this energy of the new moon might feel a little scattered. If you've had a lot of thoughts or uncertainty on what to do, don't worry, hang in there. It's kind of part of the time. But this meditation we'll use tonight will really support you as you move towards your desires. We'll use Kirtan Kriya. And Kirtan Kriya is part of the Kundalini tradition. And it's one of the meditations that has been studied the most. And they've done actually studies on people who have Alzheimer's as well as ADD and uh, autism and have shown that this meditation improves brain functioning. So that's what we'll be doing tonight. We'll be improving the functioning of your brain. You'll use a mantra. Now the mantra is called sa ta na ma These four sounds mean infinite life death and rebirth and they honor this cycle of time the journey right that movement forward on your journey there's going to be the energy that comes from the infinite right the idea and there's going to be the journey itself the life of it and then there's going to be some sort of transition or even destruction of that which you desired initially for it to be reborn into something new well, that's what this med meditation helps you understand is that everything has an ebb and a flow. It's also combined with a mudra, a hand gesture that's in sequence with the sounds. So when you meditate, you'll sit in a meditative posture, you'll turn your palms up, and with each of the sounds, you'll touch the fingers in sequence with the sounds. Sa, ta, na, ma. And you'll just keep going like that. One more part, okay? Because I told you there's a lot to this. We'll start the meditation out loud. So you'll chant out loud, and then you'll move to a whisper, and then you'll go silent. Eventually, we'll go back to a whisper, and then once again, out loud. And the idea behind this is that it helps to slow down the brain waves. As you go quiet, your brain waves slow down. You get to entrain yourself and allow new uh, 
uh, intentions or even reprogramming to occur. And then you'll take the sound aloud again so that you can bring this energy out into the world. So let's begin. Find a seated posture, turn your palms up <clears throat> and just allow your eyes to close. Bring your awareness to your third eye point, your seat of intuition. Feel free to listen as long as you need to, and then join in as you're ready.
Take a deep inhale. Retain your breath. Hold this energy at your heart. And exhale. Now just stay in this energy. Your eyes may even continue to stay closed. Breathe consciously. Acknowledge where you're headed. Good. Well, from here, you're welcome to maintain a seated posture or if you would like to lie down for a few moments and listen to the sweet lullaby by Ray. If it feels right for you, allow my voice to be an echo of your inner voice. breath in 
into your body. And awaken yourself into this new phase, this new life, this new journey of life. It's time for you to head forward now. All right. Well, you can find us again at the next full moon. It'll occur July 2nd, which is a Sunday, and we'll be hosting our full moon event live. So you'll get this plus more, including all these gongs that are sitting behind me. Also, if you're ready to have yoga at your fingertips, uh, I have a new membership, which is online, on demand, and you can do yoga on your time. So check these things out. They're there on my website, and we can't wait to see you soon. Satnam.